In this video, we will find out difference between NPN and PNP type transistors and why NPN transistors more often seen in circuits. Please stay with me in the rest of this video. BJT transistors fall into two major categories, NPN type and PNP type. But the main question is why NPN type is more popular or where should I use NPN type and where should I use PNP type? These are very important and confusing questions. Before answering these questions, we need to know what are transistors used for in circuits. This is a good question to start with. Transistors have two main uses in electronic circuits. Number one, transistors are used for amplifying voltage or current, mostly in analog circuits. Number two, transistors are used for switching voltage or current, mostly in digital circuits. Since digital circuits, like microcontroller-based circuits, are more popular these days, we often see the second usage of transistors, I mean using transistor as a switch. Switches are very important because they are most basic component in digital world. Let's examine how a normal switch works before the main subject. For a switch to work properly, it must be placed between the load and the power supply, like this. No matter the switch is placed in positive side or negative side of power supply. But if you need to use a transistor as a switch, it is important to place it in correct side. Where to place the transistor? On positive side or negative side? This is a question that rises from this content. Which side of power supply is better to place a transistor? Answer of this question is depend on the transistor type you are going to use. If your transistor is a PNP type, then you have to place it on positive side of power supply, like this. And if your transistor is an NPN type, then you have to switch negative side or ground side of power supply, like this. With a little study about BJT transistors, you can learn about them and their four modes of operation. Saturation, active forward, cutoff and reverse active modes. When the transistor is to be used as a switch in digital circuits, it must be in only two modes of operation. Cutoff mode, which transistor acts like open circuit when the switch is off, and saturation mode, which transistor acts like short circuit when the switch is on. Transition between these two modes of operation is easy and straightforward in NPN type transistors. Because of that, NPN type transistors are handier and useful and more seen in nowadays circuits. You may wonder why switching NPN type transistors are easier than their PNP train. Let's discuss about it. According to our basic knowledge about BJT transistors, base emitter voltage, base emitter voltage in NPN transistors and emitter base voltage in PNP transistors must be more than 0.7 volts to turn the transistor on and take it into forward active or saturation mode. Otherwise, the transistor will fall into cutoff mode and will turn off. In addition, the emitter pin must be connected to power supply and collector pin is always connected to the load in both types. Look here, emitter is connected to power supply, emitter is connected to power supply, and collector is connected to load, here and here, in both types. Other fact that we know about BJT transistors is that NPN is for switching ground, look here, NPN transistor is switching the ground of load, and PNP type transistor is for switching power supplies positive side. Let's suppose that the load is a 12 volt DC motor. Because of that, we need a 12 volt power supply. Emitter pin of NPN transistor must be connected to ground or zero volt and emitter pin of PNP type should be connected to 12 volts. 
With these assumptions, if you try to switch the motor using NPN type transistors, you simply need a zero volt to turn the transistor off and a voltage over than 0.7 volts to turn the transistor on, which is available on every IO pin on any microcontroller. But if you try to switch the motor using PNP type transistors, I have bad news for you because the transistor will turn on with 11.3 volts or less and will turn off with a base voltage over than 11.3 volts. You can't turn the transistor off using microcontroller and of course you can't stop the DC motor because MCU pins can provide 0 and 3.3 volts or sometimes 5 volts, which all of these voltages are under 11.3 volts. And all of these voltages will turn the transistor and then turn the motor on. This is the main reason why NPN transistors are used more than PNP1. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.